Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 8th of 2022. Well, it is titled Spiral Galaxy NGC 1512, the inner rings. So what do we see here? Well, we talk about spiral and elliptical galaxies, but there are also galaxies that have rings. And while they're relatively rare, here we see a galaxy that actually has two rings. We see a ring down towards the core of the galaxy. This is what is called a nuclear ring because it is near the nucleus of the galaxy. And you can see it there. It's a very bright star forming region. So something has happened in here to enhance star formation in that specific part of the galaxy, giving rise to all of the bright blue stars that we see there that combine together to give off all of that light. Now then there's kind of a gap in between and we see a ring further out which is actually called the inner ring. So the inner ring is actually outside of the nuclear ring that we looked at first. Now the inner ring that we see is actually come seems to come off the edge of the bar of the galaxy. So this is a barred galaxy meaning that you can see a bar of stars going across pretty much from left to right and uh, through the center and the outer ring seems to be at the the outer ring again what we call the inner ring is at the is at the edge of this bar. Now we associate bars with barred spiral galaxies, which is an example would be our own Milky Way. However, they're also present in different types of galaxies, even with the ring that we see here. Now once we get to that ring, again, what we call the inner ring, uh, at the outer edges of the galaxy here, we can again see the signs of star formation with a lot of bright blue star clusters scattered around it, where star formation is ongoing. Now there are also our galaxies that have a third ring which would be the outer ring. So we have the nuclear ring, the inner ring, and then even further out you could have an outer ring, which does we do not see in this galaxy, but is present in other galaxies. So we see these rings, although they're most they're not present in most galaxies, but they do seem to be present in this galaxy. And this is believed to be a part of the evolution of a galaxy. Often galaxies evolve through collisions, but galaxies can also evolve more slowly. And in this case, the galaxy, the dust and gas can fall from the inner ring down to the nuclear ring, which will enhance the star formation that we see within that nuclear ring. So we can see that intense concentration of star formation, which may be the individual evolution of just a galaxy out by itself that is not presently interacting with other galaxies. So we've talked about before galaxies often evolve and grow through collisions, but they do have some sets of evolution that occur just within the galaxy themselves, apart from those collisions. So that was our picture of the day for May 8th of 2022. It was titled Spiral Galaxy NGC 1512 The Inner Rings. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Martian Eclipse. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.